Today's video will be a guide on how to get the Polyhedra airdrop. So if you're not familiar with Polyhedra, they're working on the infrastructure for web-free interoperability. So basically what that means is that they're making it easier for different blockchains to work together and making it easier for users to bridge assets across chains. So they're offering a number of different things, uh, a zero-knowledge bridge, zero-knowledge decentralized identity, and a different NFT standard using their own ZK NFT system. So today we're not going to be covering the decentralized identity system or the NFT system. We're going to be taking a look at the bridge because it's nice and easy to use to potentially qualify for an airdrop. So Polyhedra have a huge ecosystem. If I just scroll down here, you'll see a number of different layer ones, layer twos, various different DeFi dApps and NFT protocols here as well. The list goes on. So let's take a look at the ZK bridge that Polyhedra is offering. So you're able to bridge ETH, USDT and BNB across different chains. So if I click here and from, we can see that there are various different chains that you can send assets from, ranging from Ethereum, Linear, Mantle, Arbitrum, Scroll, all the way to Polygon, Base, BNB and Optimism. So as I said before, if you're looking to bridge between different layer twos, you're better off using this than something like Hot Protocol or Stargate Finance, because with ZK Bridge, you have the potential there to get a future airdrop. So I'll be showing you how to use this bridge right now. So I'm I'm going to be bridging funds from base over to Arbitrum 1. So in my Arbitrum wallet, I've got $37 worth of ETH right now. And if I go back to my base wallet, I've got $944. So I'm going to be transferring just 0.01 ETH here. And your recipient address, this is something that you can change. You can transfer all of these funds into a different wallet if you like, but by default, it should be your own wallet. Now I'm just gonna press transfer here and then just confirm this transaction in my wallet. And there we go, my transaction is confirmed and the ETH should arrive over to my Arbitrum wallet in about five minutes. And there we go, we can check my wallet and my ETH balance has increased by 0.01. So it's really just as easy as that to use the Polyhedra ZK bridge. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get some airdrops.